misappropriating funds meant for the Saglemi housing project. The Minister for Works and Housing, Samuel Atachia, despite the state paying more than 90% of the contract sum, it was shocking to note that the contract was varied to 1,000 housing units from the original 5,000 that was agreed by executive instrument and also approved by Parliament. Take a listen to the minister who appeared before Parliament on the 4th of June and on the sidelines we spoke with him. Bring the bonus of the evidence to show the extent of the theft. That is what it is. But if anybody does not see this as a theft, it's up to him. But at the appropriate time, those people who are involved in this racket will be invited to come and answer. You could take 40 million United States dollars of the contract sum abroad, and there's no return of um, importation of materials to do the job. These are matters which should be obvious to everybody. We are working. But let me tell you something that Kufuwa don't do. He won't do which hand. Do you know what which hand is? Let's go after this man, whether there is evidence or not. We are not going to go into that kind of chief I mean, uh, politics. Yeah, the Attorney General is saying that, for instance, what Collins that that did was ultra virus his powers. He didn't have the requisite power to overrule parliamentary approvals. And that the consequent um, tinkering of that document is null and void, and it's of no consequence. And all the chief directors who purported to have downsized the contracts, uh, they are in acts of illegality. It's stated clearly. And also, the contract has lapsed. That was a clear position of the Attorney General. And they are unable to complete the contract within the defined time. And that was the Minister for Works and Housing in Parliament today. But joining me in studio is the man who was in charge of the project, was the Deputy Minister for Works and Housing at the time, the Honorable Sam Sina. He was also the Member of Parliament for the Bodhi constituency. Honorable, welcome and many thanks indeed for your time. Welcome. What do you say to what the Minister just said? He says that you misappropriated funds. It was badly managed and you had to downsize the project from 5,000 houses to 1,000. Is it true? Thank you very much, uh, my brother. The minister, in response to the question today, mm. said that uh, he is still waiting for audit reports. Right. So that they will put former officials who were involved and found to be culpable mm -hmm. before court. Mm. So the first issue is, if you are still waiting for audit reports, right. we suggest that you have not reached the finality mm. of what you want to do, why do you conclude that some former ministers were involved in malfeasance? Because you, 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 are not, you don't know the entire uh, uh, issues mm. before you. It, they are not available before you. Did you, did you reduce so, the, the quantum of housing units from 5,000 to 1,000? So uh, before that, mm. I want to state that the answer given by the minister, mm. he said the first payment was 40% That's right. to the contractor. Mm. That is not true. What is the actually? From the records, mm. which was prepared by the consultant mm. to the project, the first payment was 20%. Mm. And that is $40 million. Right. And the minister also... Of the $200 million. Of the $200 okay. million. Dollars. The rationale for that quantum payment mm. was to allow the contractor to import into this country all the relevant equipment, mm. machines that would be needed in executing... Was that done? Yes, that was done. Okay. And if you go to site right now, mm. the minister said that he went mm. to the site and he couldn't trace any material meant for the project. Did he lie? That is not true. Did he lie? That is not true. Did he lie? I mean, it's not true because if you go to site <laughs> now, you will find out some of the materials, mm. equipment and machines that were imported into this country mm. by the contractor purposely for executing Central the in project. this is that you agreed so, on 5,000 housing projects uh, in 2012 under John Mahama from the presidency. Parliament approved that. You go onto the ground and you reduce it from 5,000 to 1,000. Is that correct? That is wrong. What, that is, is, that what, is, is, the, what is the correct thing? There are two issues here. Okay. We have the commercial agreement mm. and we have the EPC agreement. Mm. What was approved by Parliament was the commercial agreement okay. that 200 million US dollars mm. should be used 
to develop up to 5,000 housing units. Up to 5,000 housing units. Okay. So what, what did that mean? It means that uh, you have the facilities for 200 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. You have to use that amount to develop 5,000, up to 5,000 housing units. Mm -hmm. It means you have to face the project. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the original agreement, that was signed by Honorable E.T. Mensah in 2012 mm. <clears throat> with the OS Contra uh, 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 Construction Company Limited. Right. It was stated clearly that the project will be executed in phases. Okay. In fact, it is stated categorically that it will be done in four phases. So which phase, which so, phase did you leave off? So, so what <clears throat> Colonzada, Honorable Colonzada did when he took over mm -hmm. in 2013, was to implement what E.T. Mensa has contractually signed onto. Which was taken to parliament? Which was, the, no, the EPC, uh, I've said that the commercial agreement mm. was what went to parliament. Okay. So the argument that take 200 million US dollars, mm. let's go to the site and count 5,000 housing units. So you are, you are saying that that 5,000 housing units will be minus the cost of the land. Mm. That 5,000 housing unit will be minus infrastructure, mm. which includes water to the site, uh, uh, sewer systems, uh, electricity mm. to the site, and other auxiliary uh, uh, facilities mm. that were supposed to be provided under the project, i.e. a police station, mm. school, uh, shopping mall for the community. Mm. So. You cannot tell me that the idea of the 200 million US dollars was purposely to be used to construct mm. only houses. When, when Mr. So Iti Mensa, when, okay, in 2012, Mr. E.T. Mensah signed this off to be done in phases. Collins Dada takes over in 2013. Which stage did Collins Dada take over from? So Collins Dada mm. actually implemented what E.T. Mensa had earlier on signed okay which has stated clearly that mm. it should be done in phases in phases so which so phase the was phase, that okay. the phase one mm. which determined that the first phase should be 1502 units okay was after the designs mm. have been done okay because you will know how many you have to build after the designs after approval of the materials that need to be used mm. By the engineers. You but, the, but the project was, was a mortgage project uh, through the Ghana so, Home Loans. So, so they, you, couldn't, you couldn't have agreed on valuation if you hadn't put the plans together. I mean, you would, if you're building, you would put the plan together, you put materials together and everything, and the total stamp would give you that estimate. The right? original arrangement <laughs> that was done was to build the, uh, two bedrooms, mm -hmm. uh, 3,000. Right. One bedroom, Thousand, three bedrooms, thousand five. Mm. Then you sum everything that you get your five thousand. Okay. So what but, changed? But the details, mm -hmm. the details, approval of the designs mm -hmm. was not part of the commercial agreement. In fact, Parliament requested for those figures mm. so that they can approve it. But were they given? Sorry. Was Parliament given those figures? Yes. Footnote. Why, why not? Why weren't they giving? They were, I'm saying that they provided mm. it under the footnote. Okay. That we, we built uh, two, uh, two bedrooms, mm -hmm. 2,000, for instance. One bedroom, 1,000. Mm. Three bedrooms, 2,000. Okay. So you have your 5,000 These are the quantities units. you're talking about. Quantities. Okay. But the actual detailed work, mm. that is the works agreement. Mm. Works agreement. Parliament didn't approve the works agreement. Okay. It was the ministry... That approved the West Agreement upon the recommendation by the consultant mm. which has been appointed by the government. And for that matter, Minister of West and House. Okay. You understand my mm, point? I get you. So when the e EPC agreement was uh, 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 signed, mm. they stated in it that the first phase should be 1,502. Mm. It should be completed, sold out. Completed and then when? Completed... Uh, I think after 12 months or so. But, but, the, but it's not been completed as we speak. So it, they, they why, didn't... Why, why was it not completed? 
Actual, the actual work started in 2014. Okay, but we have paid 20, over 90%. 2014. So why was can it not I, completed? Can I, can right. I build my hmm. point, please? So the first phase, which was to construct... You have not told me whether it was completed or not. I'm asking, was it completed? Why was it not completed? We didn't because complete, we paid we didn't, over 90% of the money. We didn't complete when hmm. we left office. Okay, why not? We paid over 90%. But we had, we had completed more than 90% of the work done. Because for, 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 us, for, for us, before we left office, we could account for all the 1,502. Okay. I didn't know this matter would come up today. Mm. Because I have a report by the consultant stipulating all the activities that was undertaken before we left office. Okay. And giving the categories of work done before we left office. Mm. Maybe I'll, I'll have to finish it. If I have the report here and give it to you, okay. you read it and you understand things for yourself. Correct? So what, what, so, ha what so, happened in the, so, in the middle of, so you agreed, you went on site, you were supposed to have done a 12-man job. By the time you left office, you had paid over 90% of the total sum of 200 million. And yet, we cannot use the project. That's what government is saying. Is that the correct picture? You see, the, if you say that you have paid for uh, about 90%, and that you needed to provide that commensurated work. Mm. Don't forget, in that payment, include the cost of the consultant. I mean, mm. payment, the fees to the consultant. So if you're not careful and you want to just divide $200 million uh, mm. by 5,000, you, you, you get it wrong. But as it stands, you get it wrong. the facility so cannot be used. That's what government is saying. The facility cannot be used today mm. because the minister who is supposed to read the contract mm. and know that it is the duty of government to provide uh, 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 utilities to the site, mm. has not done that. Because in that contract that was signed, mm -hmm. it was the responsibility of government of Ghana to extend water to the site, mm. even though the contractor will do the layout, lay the pipes, build everything in okay. there, do, do the uh, sewer system, but the machines, and then do the, the, the power, electricity, mm -hmm. network, <clears throat> to be done by the contractor, which the contractor did, but it was the duty of government of Ghana to extend water to site, to extend power to site, mm -hmm. and then to get the sewage facility also, also on site. You are saying the minister has not read the contract? I don't if, say say, that. if he's saying this, then he has not read the contract. Because, because, it is, because he's complaining today. Mm. That the facilities are un uh, unhabitable mm. today mm. because of the fact that there's no water there. So even if those stars have been completed, mm -hmm. because there's lack of water, absence of electricity, the sewer system has not been done. We will go and live there. The and so, and so when we're in the office, mm. we initiated the processes of getting a contractor to do to send water to site, to send uh, power to site. So that we, uh, the place will be habitable. And what, the, what was the result of that effort? We didn't finish. We were in the process when we, d we went into the elections and we lost. And after the elections, we didn't do anything. He says some way work contracts were signed. Some way work contracts were signed by some chief directors and all of them will face the music of the law. So far as I'm concerned, there was nothing like that that happened. What happened was that mm. when the contract period lasts and we realized that the contractor has not been able to complete mm. the project mm. in implementing a project of that kind. The contractor came for extension, mm. extension of time at no cost to government of Ghana. Mm. So instead of say completing in December 2015, mm -hmm. we extended it so that they, uh, they have additional months right. to work on the project. Absolutely. That was what the uh, chief director did. There was no financial implication. No, because, because I remember even at one stage, mm. when the contractor came for the extension, mm -hmm. they were claiming that we made some delays, that's why they couldn't finish. Mm. And after sitting down with them, we made it clear to them that it wasn't our fault. And so we didn't add the first one to the, 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 the contractor. So what checks are the minister talking about then? So, checks so that were signed? What, checks, what checks are, mm? And I, I, think, I think that when the minister assumed office, mm. now he's saying that the, the, the contract, the whole contract was fraud. Right. So There were if, certain elements of it. Yeah, so if, if the contract was fraud, as alleged by the minister, mm. what do you do if you assume office? 
what the minister did when he assumed office, he went to cite and commended highly the contractor and the supervising ministry for a good work done. After that, I don't know what happened. Are you surprised the minister, that the minister the is minister, like The minister went ahead mm -hmm. and then an honor certificate that has been raised by the, the, the contractor. For work done. For work done. So in, um, March, so in March 2017, mm -hmm. under the watch of Honorable uh, Atajina, mm -hmm. they effected payment to the tune of $5.6 million. For works that have for, been done, which he's complaining about now. Yes, that's right. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. So, because if you're blaming Karanzada that he did something wrong, mm. one would have expected either he terminates the contract mm. or end the contract or review the contract or make sure the right thing is done before you continue. The minister, insists, the the minister insists that the, the, he, 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 made, he, he wasn't aware what the payments were for. So, the Ghanaians who are listening to us, mm. if we're a minister of state, and an amount of 5.6 million is paid because before a certificate leaves the ministry, mm -hmm. it has to be signed by the minister to finance ministry right. before it will be honored. So if the minister is telling us today that those monies were paid at the bright side of him, then that is a very serious indictment. On the minister he says, wait for court. Wait, so, wait and go to court. So, Are you ready to so, go to court? So the point I'm making is that mm. the minister said in 2018 mm -hmm. that they were ready to take some ministers to court. <laughs> in 2020, that threat and that... You, you see that as a threat? That kind of uh, 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 behaving as if uh, people are afraid of what mm. he's doing. Nobody is afraid. You are not scared? For what? Will you go to court? Ah, if the, if the state invites you to go, won't you go? You will go. Are you clean? More than clean. More than clean. So how, so come, my point how is come that, you are being accused now? My, my, my point is mm. that if the minister says that the contract was fraud, mm -hmm. what did he also own a certificate? Under his watch, mm. when the contract was extended mm. and they assumed office, the contractor again couldn't complete the project. The contractor again came, went for another extension. And this was done under his watch. Are you suggesting to me that as, as of the time you were leaving office, you gave the state value for money in the Saglami project? Exactly. Exactly. Before we left office, we had completed 1,038 units. 1,038 units mm. had been completed. And then the remaining were at the various stages of completion. In fact, I remember 90 was just around the footing, but the rest, some at the roofing level, and some of them just uh, 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 putting in the ties mm. here and there, wiring, mm. and that kind of thing. So, but before we left office, mm. we could account for the 1,502 units that was approved and agreed upon mm. in the, uh, the EPC agreement. Okay, this is Hot Issues. My guest is the Honorable Samson. He, he is uh, in a face-to-face -face with the Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, Samuel Tacha, who today in Parliament had mentioned that, well, the Saglami housing project had issues and some illegalities have been done and the persons involved should get ready to go to court. Samson is ready to go to court. Stay with us. When we return from the break, we'll ask him, how those who expected to live in those houses should be feeling at this point. Another issue. Stay with us. This is all issues. Welcome back to Hot Issues. My name is John Hughes and many thanks indeed for your time. My guest in the studio is the Honorable Member of Parliament for Bodhi Constituency and a former Deputy Minister for Works and Housing. Before the break, we're talking about the uh, cost of the projects and everything else. What was the estimated time that you had in mind to complete the 5,000 housing units? It was to be done in three phases. Okay. Over what period? I mean, uh, over a period of about, say, four, five years. Mm -hmm. That was it. Okay. And so, in fact, the point I'm making now, is that the minister said in the answer mm. that the first payment 
was 40%. Okay. Which was $80 million. You have said 20%. You, and we, we've crossed I'm that stage that already. That is not true. We've crossed that stage already. I'm asking you now that you are saying four years. You expected to complete it in four years. Now it's not completed. We have always had housing deficit. The promise was made to the people to get them housing, you know, cheap houses for them to stay in, affordable housing. Now the project is not there. How does that make you feel as the former man in charge of trying to provide shelter for the people that never was? Yeah, it is rather unfortunate that when we left office, in fact, by the time we left office, mm. we had put in place structures to start selling some of the completed ones. At how much? But we didn't, we didn't determine the price. Mm. But because there was no water mm. and the power to the site, that's why we were working seriously on getting the infrastructure on site. Mm. That was what we were doing. So some people even came mm -hmm. that they were ready with their monies to buy. And we didn't sell them because we said we can't sell a house without those facilities, amenities to you. How much were they willing to buy for? I mean, we were, we were supposed to meet and determine the price. Because, because this, this it was supposed to be affordable. Was affordable. The government was going to take the cost of the land mm. and some costs. Government was going to bear some costs. You understand? But you said so, earlier, you so, said earlier so, that the 200 million, mm, which is now being contested, including mm, the cost for the land and other things. And the infrastructure and other things. So I don't get it. Was, if it was factored into the 200 million, then how are you saying now that government was to take the cost of the land and other things? No, no, no. What I mean by the, there are two issues here. Mm. We have the infrastructure on site. Okay. That has to be provided by the contractor. Right. So doing the pipe, laying the pipes, mm. laying, doing the streets, okay. connecting the, the electricity, wiring mm. the houses, and then the streets lighting and those kind of things. Mm. Mm. That's the on-site infrastructure. Okay. But you remember you need to extend power from a certain point okay. into the site. Okay, and those ones are what government will take care of. That is what okay. government was supposed to take care of. So we engaged Ghana Water Company mm. uh, Limited, for instance, to give us an idea how we can get water to the site. Mm. We engaged ECG, for instance, to give us an idea as to how we can get power to the site. Mm. Even though you have provided all those things and did already they agree? on site. Did they agree? We were in the process of negotiating. For how them. long were you in the process of talking to agencies that are work under your government. There were, say, there were complexities in those discussions. What kind of complexities? You no, know, you have to take the power, water for instance, we wanted to connect it from home mm. direct. And connect it from home direct, it has to pass through some properties here and there, so negotiations, you have to... Uh, Did we not think made, about all of this before we put the a plan and made a promise to the people? Of course, that we're you, putting, of course you did. So, but when so it comes to why? actual implementation, that is where you have to agree on. But you, but you, but you need, you're a, you're a planner, man. You need a plan to be able to implement. The plan should be composite and then you everything, implement it. Everything was in place. So how come? Executing it, you need that because the project, one, I mean, that's why I said that. Mm. The cost of the project, the the commercial agreement mm. was what was approved by parliament. I hear you on that. I'm so, saying that. So, so these details mm -hmm. that I'm talking about was not approved by parliament. But, but it is then that after the approval, mm. the financial approval have been given, before the engineers, mm. the, minister, the uh, uh, personnel from the ministry would then start that no those negotiations. But if you were building your own house like we all do, would you plan for one and leave the other and say we'll plan for it later? Because that seems to have stalled the project. Really. No, it didn't. They were, work, they were all moving simultaneously. Do you understand? What I meant was, because it was the responsibility of government of Ghana to provide off-site infrastructure, mm. you needed to get resources. Resources from where? Yes, from the government of Ghana. But the buildings are rotting away now. We'd have, we would have done it by now. So the it's, minister, it's easier said than done. The, no, the ministry, because I know what I'm talking about, because we initiated steps to ha. ensure mm. that we got all those amenities on site. When the minister came, instead of him continuing mm. 
and knowing that even those ones that have been completed, mm. he keeps on saying that they, they are unhabitable. Blame game. They are unhabitable. Blame game. Forgetting the, the fact that he is the one who is supposed to make the place habitable because he has to get water to the site. Can the average civil servant or, if you like, layman afford what we have put out there? That is why we brought, we brought in Ghana Home Loans mm. to be the off-taker so that if you are interested, you go through Ghana Home Loans. Then Ghana Home Loans will, will, will buy the Averagely, house how much did Ghana Home Loans tell you they were going to sell the project for? One, one unit for a two-bedroom flat, for example. Per the, per, per the initial proposal that they brought mm. was around $40,000. If I, if, I, if I work at the Ministry of Works and Housing and I earn 1,500 CDs per month, it would take me forever to pay that, don't no, you think? Don't, don't forget, there were three, uh, three bedroom houses, mm. there were two bedrooms, and then one bedroom. But I'm saying that so, it would so, take me forever, so, don't you agree? No, so if the uh, three bedrooms is $40,000, for instance, then definitely the one bedroom is not $40,000. It will still be... It will still be and that is why that is why that is why, that is why you are giving a mortgage facility and per the law you are not supposed to use more than 30 percent of your monthly income mm -hmm. on shelter so all those things were factored so if your monthly income is thousand five as mm -hmm. you are saying and you are then you are entitled to one bedroom okay then we'll make sure that mm -hmm. what will be deducted to service your mortgage mm -hmm will not be more than 30% of your monthly income. And we're moving into COVID issues now. Yeah, yeah. Your side in parliament is mm -hmm. asking for 240. Explanation by the government. Exactly. Yeah. To be made to you. I'm asking, mm -hmm. did that explanation not come at the time that the money was being demanded for? No. The details mm. wasn't given. Why didn't you ask? I mean, mm. the government, you know, it was done under emergency. Uh, under, under emergency. Mm. And during emergency situations, you will, the, the government will just bring the programs. Mm -hmm. We want to do A, B, C, D. And that is it. The approval was given. Now, come and give, show us. If we said you wanted to, fed, uh, to feed uh, mm -hmm. 400 people, mm -hmm. how much did it cost? How many days did you cook for? Uh, to feed the mm -hmm. 400 people? How soon did it, do you want These this are done? the details that we want. How soon do you want this done? Now we have raised the matter. We are anticipating that as soon as possible, mm. the finance minister will finish parliament with those, those information. Are some members of parliament contracting the coronavirus? Not as to far the best, as you know. Not to the best of my knowledge. You don't know. I have done the test. Mm. Uh, and I know that... Do you know your status? Have you been told? I have not been told anything. Why not? But I understand the principle is that if, 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 if you contract the virus, mm. they will call you and let you know after 48 hours. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming that, and I did it uh, uh, almost two weeks ago. Okay. So if I've not been called after 48 hours, my conclusion is that I don't have it. But you sit in, a chamber. Know, you sit in a chamber with your colleagues. Uh, how would you feel if you got to know that, you know, a colleague of yours had it and is, is kept away from you because you work together as a team? Of 275 how would you feel that would be very very uh, problematic for everybody because then you don't even know one if you don't know who has uh, gotten it mm. you don't know where he sat mm. yesterday or a week ago which people did he come into contact with mm. so then it's a problem should we shut parliament so so for so, out, 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 out of uh, safety should we shut parliament yes for safety? i am i am one of those people who who are calling for uh, closing down of parliament because of the uncertainty in this uh, coronavirus uh, period. But that would affect government business. That would affect, for example, the CI that EC has it's, put it's, before it's, you it's, to, it's to it's mature, not. to it's allow them to go ahead with their business. So what, what purpose will it serve if after the CI has matured and all of us are dead? For example, so then it, it seeks to suggest that you are deliberately asking for this to block uh, the CI so that the AC cannot get a chance to do their job. Would you agree to that? That's not the point. Have you forgotten even when we were recess? From time to time, when government needed members of parliament to work, we called upon and we, we did that. Remember recently when we vetted the 
the four Supreme Court judges, Parliament was on recess. Mm. So depending on and the circumstances of the time, if government put in a request, we respond to it positively. Mm. But this is a situation where we are talking about life and death. Mm. And we don't know who and who have contracted the virus. So everybody is in a, not in the best frame of mind. It means you're, you don't feel protected in the house from we don't, COVID. We don't. We don't. There's a problem. Because psychologically, it doesn't, it doesn't even help what we're doing. It affects your work? Exactly. How? Because if I know that, like I said, I did it two weeks ago. I don't know my status. I'm just taking the, the, the light that because I've not been called, okay. I'm assuming that I don't have it. I don't know who has been called. And if that person who has been called had the contact with me, how do I know it? You understand? And the situation is that if it, it, it may happen that two weeks ago when I did the test, I didn't have it. But the following day, I came into contact with somebody who have it. Samsehi, I thank you very much for your time. I wish you all the best uh, in the forthcoming elections if it does go through. Uh, let's wait for, for the courts to decide and let's see what happens. But you are telling me that you're ready to go to court to clear yourself. I wish you all the best. I mean, I am not even going, going to court. You're not going to court? No, it's not. I, I didn't sign anything. I didn't sign anything. But you were the man in, the pro but, in charge of the project. But I'm speaking to the issues because I was a deputy minister there. In charge and of the project. I followed whatever happened. If that it turns out that what the minister is saying is true, how would you feel? That you were the man in charge I know, of the project. I know it's not true. And you didn't know. But if it turns out it's true, what, how would you feel? I know it's not true because from what I know, from what I know mm. and the report that I have, unless the, the, the consultant lied to us, unless the consultant didn't tell us the truth, but from what the report given by the consultant, mm. and next time I will bring you the document the first payment was 40 million, not 80 million. Because of this, I'm certain that nothing on tour was, was, was done. We did the job diligently for Mother Gandhi. Thank you. 20% he says he insists that was paid. My name is John Hughes. Many thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Good evening.